okay i'm making it from scratch so we're gonna start off by just beating the butter and the oil together you need a half a cup of butter and then you're gonna take your half a cup of oil and pour it in and then you want to beat those together really well so I'm actually using the wrong attachment. You want to use the whisk for this portion of the cake. I'm just going to make sure any butter that's on the side is actually in the bowl. Sometimes it can get stuck there and then you're kind of screwed. Next, we want to add in small amounts of the sugar while this is on medium. Now that it's nice and fluffy, we're gonna add in all the eggs right now. Add in one at a time. And then we're gonna follow up by adding in the vanilla extract. So while this is on a medium speed, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop one at a time. Ah! I'm always so scared to make cakes from scratch because I don't have time to waste ingredients. I don't like wasting ingredients and I feel like I'm not gonna jinx it, but I feel like cakes, when I make it from scratch, I either have a good day or I have a bad day. So let's hope today is a good day. So far, it's looking nice and yellow, like how it's supposed to. Okay, it's looking nice. Ah, let's hope it comes out good. It looks really good. I am proud of myself. But you know what? Let me not get too happy. Whenever I get too happy, that's when, yeah. So now we have our vanilla extract. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this in. So, pause real quick while this is mixing and stuff. I'm gonna actually sift all the dry ingredients together. That is the salt, that is the flour, and that is the baking powder, okay? So, let's do that. So the cake looks, it looks really good and creamy to be honest. Ah, I'm actually getting good vibes right now. But you know what? It's always when I add the buttermilk. It's the buttermilk for me that usually messes things up and I'm just like, ugh! I don't usually sift my thing just because usually the videos I watch are always like, you don't have to. But then again, I don't really make much cakes from scratch because I told you it's usually a good day or a bad day. Then for the next step, we're going to alternate between the buttermilk and the flour. It's gonna be this, 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 all right? drives me so crazy when it's just sitting there at the sides. For the next step, I like to use parchment rounds. I'm gonna be using some six inch baking pans. These I got from Amazon, I love them. They're better than the other ones that have like a more matte material. I'm gonna do four layers and I have a lot of batter here so I know for a fact all four are gonna be probably used. I have my scale because um, I wanna make sure each layer is even. And then we also have the, it's a bacon spray pretty much. cake on the counter just to get out any air bubbles and you'll see all the air bubbles pop up and while you're doing this your oven should be heating up to 325 degrees sometimes I put mine's up to a little bit higher than that I feel like my oven is weird sorry my head is cut off on purpose because my hair is not done I put mine's up to 330 or 350 you know every black person be putting it on 350 and I only put two cake pans in at a time. That oven got a mind of its own. I'm gonna actually work on the buttercream. I'm gonna be doing American buttercream. Butter in here. All right. Okay, so 
So you're gonna wanna have at least two pounds of sugar, that's what I usually use for my powdered sugar. I like to use two and a half or just two. So I base it off of how it looks as I'm going along. Pour it in a little at a time because guys, if you don't, it's going to like go off everywhere. It is obviously getting thicker as you're putting more sugar. So what you're gonna need next is heavy cream. Um, so make sure you have your vanilla buttercream, I mean your vanilla flavoring. This is the same thing. You wanna put at least one tablespoon. Um, sometimes I'll put a tablespoon of vanilla with a tablespoon of butter. Salt helps to balance the flavor, so you really just want like a pinch of salt. Like, do, got, do, do not put a lot of do not put a lot of salt in this. Okay, and pour it in. Let that mix. Okay, I'm gonna put the icing, the buttercream, into a airtight container. This hat is really giving me life. I love it. Freezer or the fridge for a little bit. 